This is VOA News via remote. I'm Marissa Milton. To a threatening soundtrack of air raid sirens and booming artillery, civilians in Ukraine are fleeing towns and cities in the east as Russian forces advance. AP correspondent Charles de Ledesma reports. The evacuation process is painstaking, physically arduous and fraught with emotion. Many of the evacuees are elderly, ill or have serious mobility problems, meaning volunteers have to bundle them into soft stretchers and slowly negotiate their way through narrow corridors and down flights of stairs and then into transportation. Fighting has raged north of the town of Bakhmut as Russia intensifies efforts to seize key eastern cities like Syrodonetsk. In Bakhmut, only around 30,000 people remain from a pre-war population of 85,000. I'm Charles de Ledesma. Russia asserted Saturday that its troops and separatist fighters had captured a key railway junction in eastern Ukraine, the second small city to fall to Moscow's forces this week as they fought to seize all of the country's contested Donbass region. A Russian defense ministry spokesman said the city of Lehman had been completely liberated by a joint force of Russian soldiers and the Kremlin-backed separatists who have waged war in the eastern region bordering Russia for eight years. Lehman had a population of 20,000 before Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th. French President Emmanuel Macron and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz spoke in a phone conversation uh, with Russia's Vladimir Putin on Saturday, asking him to release the 2,500 Ukrainian fighters who were holed up inside the Azovstal steel plant in Mariupol and later taken prisoner by Russia. This is VOA News. In the United States, speakers at the National Rifle Association's National Convention in Houston lamented the Uvalde shooting, school shooting that is, uh, while well, also calling for more guns and tighter security, AP correspondent Tim McGuire reports. Former President Donald Trump calls a shooting in which 19 students and their two teachers died pure evil, saying people bent on killing others need to be in mental hospitals and schools have to become security bastions. From this day forward, every school in America should have a police officer or an armed resource officer on duty at all times. Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz dismisses the calls for banning semi-automatic weapons or initiating gun restrictions. Taking guns away from these responsible Americans will not make them safer, nor will it make our nation more secure. The NRA says attendees will also reflect on the shooting and pray for the victims. I'm Tim McGuire. In remarks outside the NRA convention, Texas Democratic gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke said the time is now to prevent another mass shooting. The time for us to have stopped Uvalde was right after Sandy Hook. The time for us to have stopped Uvalde was right after Parkland. The time for us to have stopped Uvalde was right after Santa Fe High School. The time for us to stop the next mass shooting in this country is right now, right here, today, with every single one of us. An Algerian military officer turned democracy activist has been deported from Spain and charged in Algeria in a case that the human rights groups see as another sign of an ever-expanding crackdown on dissidents. Algerian authorities say they're just trying to guarantee stability. Critics accuse authorities of using threats to national security to stifle speech and justify arrests and further crush the hope of a new era raised by the 2019 pro-democracy movement. Hundreds of citizens in the gas-rich North African nation have been jailed for trying to keep the democracy movement alive. The movement's mass protests led to the downfall of Algeria's longtime president. At least a dozen civilians were killed by members of a notorious rebel group in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo on Saturday, according to the Army and the Red Cross. It happened in the village of Bo Manyama. And uh, top story this evening, Russia's defense ministry says the eastern Ukrainian town of Lyman has fallen under the Lehman, rather has fallen under the control of Russia and Russian-backed forces in the region. Marissa Melton, VOA News.